What's up, guys? Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back at you with another haul. Today, we do have two gigantic boxes. Uh, these are sets um, that are pretty similar um, in terms of theme. Um, they are some older stuff, so I know a lot of you are looking for some older stuff just because you don't see that very often. So uh, I did get some of this stuff that I have never gotten before, so that should tell you a little bit of something because I've gotten a lot of stuff on this channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the little bell uh, to be notified for the next one. I'm doing about three to four per week now. Uh, just depending on how many hauls that I get. There is an epic, epic haul coming um, towards the first week of September. Uh, I will fill you guys in with some more details <laughs> when that gets nearer, uh, but it is incredible. It is probably the biggest thing you've seen uh, in terms of Lego hauls on YouTube, and I would I would, I would hard press to say that it is the biggest. Uh, so we'll definitely take a look at that once, once that comes through. Maybe we'll do some vlogs or something like that uh, during that time period on the trip. Because uh, I do have to go get it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. I am very excited for these because these were things that I wanted as a child. Never got them at all either. Uh, so let's go ahead and go one at a time. I believe there are five sets in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, congrats on the 500 subscriber giveaway winner. If you haven't already, contact me and we'll get you your monies. Where's my knife? Fully prepared for this video, I tell you what, fully prepared. I cut my finger. As you can probably, some of you know, you can see from the color scheme of things, it was pretty much the only one with that color scheme. Oh, save the bubble wrap. Save the bubble wrap. You can always use bubble wrap. All right, we are starting off with the wrong side of the box. We're starting off with the Stellar Recon Voyager 6956 from Mtron. Uh, you can see it does have the box. It is a used set, unfortunately. Uh, these are very, very expensive if you get them new. Uh, but you can see the traditional old school flap um, where they can you know show you all sorts of stuff about the set. Um, we do get great pictures on the back and alternate builds as well, which is always a great thing. I wish they did still. Never really got any of the Mtron. <laughs> I always wanted it, but for some reason uh, I got like Blacktron and, and Space Police and uh, Ice Planet, but I never got any Mtron. Um, my brother always really liked it too. So I'm not sure why I didn't get more. Uh, we do have this set in here. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. This is a giant box, so I'm going to just take the sets out of... Wow, that was probably a great sound. How was that sound on the video quality? Is that good? Did you guys like that sound? All right. This next one we have here, as you can see, these all have the boxes. Actually, boxes are in pretty good shape considering the age as well, which is really cool. Another reason why I got it uh, and jumped on this one. We do also have the Particle Ionizer 6923 from Mtron. I think this is the better looking ship of the two. The Recon Voyager, I think, is a little bit meh. <laughs> um, but in any case, I wanted to collect all of the sets from Mtron. Uh, so this is a great start. We're still going, uh, so don't go anywhere. Uh, but you can see we do have this set in here. Um, there are two little sets that they included as well, so uh, we'll see if those are in another box too. So yeah, awesome on that one too. We got some alternate builds there. Love the old magnets. Um, Mtron was kind of that's kind of where the M came from, I think, was like Magnetron uh, is where it all kind of stemmed from because they have all these magnets and picking up all these things. Um, so really cool color scheme. Love the other color scheme, the black and red, and of course the neon green of the time. That is the, the color of my childhood, the neon green. Everything was neon green for me as a kid. All right. Uh, actually, I'm going to save the it. The other sets in here, I'm gonna save the big one, which you guys probably already know what the big one's gonna be. But it looks like we do have a bag here. 
with the two mini ones. These ones did not have boxes, unfortunately, uh, but we do have the 6811. Trying to remember what that was called. I don't remember specifically. One of the little small Mtron builds, and then we also have the Beacon Tracer, I think is what this one was called, uh, 6833. So we do have that here as well. And then, it was time for the set that kept my brother and I awake <laughs> for many a night, wishing and hoping, but it never came. <laughs> Mostly probably because it was so expensive. <laughs> Still to this day, remains very expensive. Come on. We have the Mega Core Magnetizer. The behemoth of a truck with the front windshield. They've never done that uh, before, I don't think or after, which is really surprising. I love the idea of this, that's a windshield uh, instead of a base. But you can tell the magnitude of this set because of that. It used to be a base piece uh, for like the Ice Planet and Spireus, stuff like that. Had that uh, in different colors, of course, but uh, not any on green. But this was a windshield, which was just the most magnificent thing ever. Those big, giant, honking wheels in there as well. Hopefully there's another one in there. Yeah, there's one right there. I was like, oh, there's only five. There's one underneath there. Uh, but we can see the flap here with the alternate stuff, the history and the story of this one. And then I'm sure we have some alternate builds here on the back as well. That one looks pretty cool. All of which using it as a windshield, which is very surprising. I would have thought they would have done like some kind of Mtron base back here considering they had some of the pieces there. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. It's like a giant steamroller, giant space steamroller. Little double ship there. That looks like it would use only like a, a few of the pieces and <laughs> not any of the pieces at all. Of the old traditional radar dish there too. And the color scheme, can't beat the color scheme. This one was one that we never got and we always wanted my brother especially, this was like his, his like dream. Mine was always the Ice Planet uh, Deep Freeze Defender. I always wanted that one. This is what his kind of best set was gonna be, or one of the castle sets. I think I was looking for the castle sets when I was a little kid too, but super excited. So we have five of the, I wanna say there's like seven Mtron. Uh, sets. So we'll have five of them just with this one collection, which was totally awesome. I can't wait to build all of these because I haven't built any Mtron before. Uh, I might have gotten like a little set when I was a kid, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, but yeah, we will we'll get an entire complete collection. There is a little bit of damage to this box, but I mean, it has a box, which usually most of these do not have boxes. Uh, so even if there is some damage, this thing is super old. Um, and you know, that's to be expected, especially when somebody actually keeps the box here. But you see, they actually have the seals there too. It looks like they just taped them on the side. <laughs> uh, didn't look like they were even cut or anything like that. This one might've been cut. No, that one's actually still sealed. Crazy. So one side actually is still sealed, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I love getting the boxes for these old things, just mostly because I like seeing the alternate builds and the, the actual like uh, box designs, because they put so much more effort into the box designs way back when, I think, um, even with less technology. But uh, really, really excited for this one. It does have the instructions and everything else back there. Uh, we will get the whole Mtron lot all set up. Maybe I'll do another video uh, like I did with the Ice Planet, once we have all of this done. I actually sold Unitron. I probably should have done a video with all of Unitron, <laughs> but it sold too quick. Um, so I actually do have, um, you know, if you guys saw any of the previous videos, I do have the Unitron sets again. So I do have to build up the monorail and build up everything else. So maybe I'll do a video on those sets as well. Leave a comment below if you want me to do that. And if you want a video of all the Mtron sets all built and shiny and displayed, and reviewed. Uh, I will definitely, you know, do that for you guys if that's something that would interest you. Uh, again, thank you guys for the subscriptions. We are at like five, almost 560 now. 
uh, at the time of this video. So that is really exciting. I knew that there would be a little bit of an uptake, um, you know, given the giveaway, just because some people are like, hey, free stuff, I want to subscribe. So hopefully you guys do stay subscribed. Um, if you guys are listening at this point of the video, uh, I know you are the hardcore ones. Uh, so hopefully stay subscribed. We will do another giveaway at 1000 and then off and run. And hopefully after that, do some fun things like live streams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Something a little different you don't see all the time, which I really enjoy doing. Um, you know, every once in a while I get a break from just these Star Wars minifigures. And I will catch you guys on the next one.